good afternoon um, from a very smoky Moorabbin Airport, uh, the southeastern part of Australia uh, is experiencing catastrophic fires and uh, as a result today Moorabbin is very quiet, which is otherwise the busiest general aviation airport in the country, but um, because of the fires uh, there won't be much air activity except for emergency aircraft today. So I thought I'd take the time and go over some of the safety features of this particular aircraft, which is one uh, that I fly. Uh, this is a sports aircraft, light sports. Uh, it's the Pipistrel uh, Virus short wing. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I'd like to dedicate this particular video to uh, the uh, firefighters and the people of the communities in the southeastern part of Australia who are dealing with a catastrophe. Uh, look, I'll begin with the airframe of this aircraft. As, as you can probably see, it has a, a fairly wide wingspan. Um, as for a light sports with an MTOW of only 600 kg, uh, the wings have a very considerable surface area. And as a result, the airframe, uh, which is a high wing and high T-tail construct, is favorable for gliding in the event of an engine out situation uh, it, it does allow for time for the pilot to execute a forced landing plan and successful forced landing but uh, in the event that a forced landing is not possible this aircraft is also custom fitted with a ballistic parachute rescue system. This is the egress uh, port for the ballistic parachute, a rocket propelled parachute that can be deployed as low as 200 feet, which I think is quite remarkable. And the parachute will support the whole airframe. Uh, underneath the right part of the fuselage, that's the exhaust uh, port for the rocket. And the deployment of the rocket is via a handle which is on the inside of the aircraft just between the pilot and passenger you can see that red handle there um, normally in flight conditions um, this is the safety pin which is removed um, and it is a two-stage uh, deployment of the handle with the first stage being that it'll drop with a uh, small piece of rope attached and the second stage being a forceful pull that will actually then deploy the parachute uh, and it is a rapid parachute deployment so that even if the wings were to fall off this aircraft in flight the parachute system would allow a wingless airframe uh, to safely uh, land and in that, in that capacity the uh, cabin here is also reinforced with Kevlar uh, so it's a, a fairly safe structural environment. Uh, some other uh, basic aspects of safety um, include lighting so the aircraft is equipped with a landing light uh, for the red and the uh, uh, white on the port side and starboard with the uh, white and uh, green and a tail light as well above. The uh, aircraft has a heated pitot and it has dual static ports. That's one of the ports and the other port is on the other side <coughs> which feed data into the dual ADHAR system, the air data attitude and heading reference systems. Uh, and I thought I'd go over the avionics and some accessories uh, that are related uh, to safety. Uh, so in terms of the avionics, it's a uh, Dynon Skyview touch uh, suite. Uh, these are touch screens as well as um, with buttons. Uh, these uh, computers are dual, so they're a dual uh, air data, um, attitude, heading reference systems. Uh, so there's a redundancy built in in terms of uh, the aircraft's uh, vital uh, data for the pilot. Uh, there's also a backup panel uh, with uh, analog airspeed indicator 
uh, an analog altimeter and then a uh, compass and also I've put in an ultra EFIS uh, which um, is a, an extra uh, backup uh, system uh, in case for example there is failure of uh, either or both of the uh, main uh, data screens. The aircraft also has a uh, autopilot system with dual servos and a blue level button that will bring the wings to a straight and level uh, position very uh, rapidly. Uh, other uh, important safety feature as part of the avionics is the uh, traffic collision avoidance system uh, which uh, is a fantastic sphere of safety uh, which allows you to detect uh, other aircraft at least with uh, tr uh, suitable transponders uh, within a sphere around uh, the uh, this aircraft uh, and I found that uh, incredibly useful as an adjunct to uh, visibly looking out and uh, observing the environment. Uh, I have uh, ADS-B in and out on, on this aircraft. Now in terms of some other um, uh, safety features there is synthetic vision uh, which gives you uh, actual terrain map uh, not just uh, 2D but 3D representation as you're flying and um, the screens can be configured in multiple ways uh, to uh, suit whatever customization the pilot wants. On. I fly this aircraft from the left side. Uh, in terms of uh, other accessories uh, I have put into this um, aircraft an air brake system. Uh, the manufacturer, uh, at my request, put air brakes in, uh, and that is a fantastic um, addition if, if you want uh, to effect uh, short field landings uh, or in the event of the need for a rapid descent and also fine tuning landings according to uh, the approach and the uh, airfield. The air brakes themselves are uh, quite lengthy on either wing and um, rapidly uh, reduce the airspeed of the aircraft when they're deployed fully uh, owing to the drag uh, and in flight rapidly uh, allow descent. Other uh, things that I have um, had installed for safety include uh, the Artex uh, emergency uh, locator beacon uh, which can be uh, activated uh, during flight or is automatically um, activated uh, in an emergency situation. I also carry in what I call my ditch bag uh, a uh, personal locator beacon uh, and that, that is worn on me during long flights. I also have uh, two life jackets on board. Um, there's one up there for the passenger uh, and one that I keep uh, out and ready uh, or wear if I'm flying uh, over water at uh, or less than 2,000 uh, feet. Uh, there's a carbon monoxide uh, detector uh, installed over there. And um, the other feature of this uh, aircraft that I think is important for safety is that in addition to the uh, digital uh, fuel uh, readout, there's also an analog fuel gauge on either side. That's the right fuel tank's analog fuel gauge, and the left one is over here, and that is very handy to keep an eye on uh, during flights. I suppose the other aspect of uh, flight safety is, you know, having appropriate fire uh, equipment on board. I carry a small fire extinguisher, uh, as well as a fire blanket. Um, and of course there's a fire wall installed uh, between the uh, Rotax engine in front and the cabin of the aircraft. And finally, the, um, the aircraft has a wonderful visibility. Uh, it has large windows with a really good uh, circumferential visibility. Of course, with the high wing, uh, there is always reduced visibility above you, but they, uh, the manufacturer has 
installed uh, ceiling uh, windows as well and these windows can be kicked out easily um, in the event of a forced landing final aspects of safety that I wanted to mention include the restraint system of this uh, dual shoulder as well as uh, lap restraints harness lighting which uh, in this aircraft includes a hardwired internal cabin light but also I carry extra lights uh, here is a waterproof one uh, it's LED with a strobe and in the ditch bag that I carry there is also a uh, LED and strobe light with spare batteries there is a further spare LED light up here uh, and the aircraft is equipped with dual batteries that are located uh, behind the uh, luggage cabin and also dual fuel pumps and that concludes my safety feature video for the Pipistrel Virus short wing a truly remarkable aircraft